What's up everyone, this is Cybernod, and today I'm going to open up the brand new Big and Collectibles uh, Retro Crate for you guys. So yes, of course, it's the brand new uh, crate that Big and Collectibles has released where, as the name suggests, it has retro packs in it. So, yeah, I mean, there's supposed to be older series packs in this. I think you have a chance of getting a couple of things like, I think they said Number Hunters and Hidden Arsenal, if I remember right, on their website. These are also uh, $39.99. I'll have a link to them in the description. And, of course, uh, Big and Collectibles actually sent me one of these to open up. But, yeah, it's supposed to just contain older packs in it. I think they had, like... From uh, 2010 to 2013, I think is what it's on the website. Of course, it's all in the description on their website if you want to check it out for yourself. I I'm not good at remembering everything, but uh, it said retro in the name, so I wanted to open one of these up. So let's see what we can get. Hopefully, her other cards will help us out here and get some amazing pulls from these too. Yeah, especially getting older packs. Sounds awesome. All right, so yeah, it also is supposed to include a mystery pack, which can include more packs and, and other random stuff too. So we'll see what's in that here in a second. But what are our packs? There we go. I believe, yeah, I think I got everything. So we have uh, Cosmo Blazer, Lord Tachyon Galaxy, Extreme Victory. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Well, all these are nice, really. Uh, Storm of Ragnarok, another one. Then Hidden Arsenal 4. That's, like I said, one of the best Hidden Arsenals you can get. That and 7 are probably the best. Then uh, Number Hunters. Uh, Absolute Power Force, actually a couple of those, or three of them, I should say. So, yeah, it's almost like a random pack opening, right? It's like an older random pack opening. And uh, let's go ahead and open up this mystery pack, too. It feels like there's booster packs in this, so we'll see. There we go. I think that's what I got. So, yeah, we have uh, Soul Fusion, uh, Cybernet Horizon, then a card. I don't know, we'll, we'll check that here in a second. And a Code the Duelist. All right, so what's this card? Oh, it's like a mystery thing, I guess. I don't know if it was like a promo pack, like maybe Megaton promos or something. Well, who knows what we have here. We might have some good promo cards. We might just have some good cards in general. I don't know what to expect. Okay, that one seems to be the, the only one that's turned around. And, well, first off, we do have a holographic. This one is from the uh, Premium Pack 2. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, Hecatrice. So, yeah, that's the one that helps you, uh, yeah, search for Valhalla, Hall of the Fallen. Kind of cool. Now let's see, some other ones, Sheehan's Foot Soldier, that's pretty good, some Six Samurais, basically. And, yeah, basically a lot of stuff from uh, Strike of Neos, that's the name, I, I couldn't think of it for a second. Pretty good, so just kind of some random commons, and I guess a random hollow from that. I, I think mystery packs, though, are always random, so you might not get the same thing, I, I don't know. But, uh, tell me, if you guys get one of these, let me know what you got. Anyway, let's just get to the openings. Again, it's a random pack opening, basically, on this. So if you guys enjoyed this, uh, let me know. I might get another one of these. If you want to see that, hit that like button, subscribe, and all that too. Let's just get to it. Oh, do we? Yeah, well, okay. We're starting off with an ultra rare. I'll take that. Uh, Castle Link. This card's kind of interesting. I don't know. It's one of those that uh, you don't really see at all. Uh, I always thought it was kind of interesting, though, because it works with Link Monsters of Field Spell for that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's a cheaper ultra rare to get, but it is one that I wonder if it could ever come in handy. It's just one of those cards that, for some reason... I want to try to use it in something. I don't know why. It's probably stupid. It might not ever work out in anything, but I want to try it. <laughs> I don't know why. Let's see, and another ultra. Oh, yeah, this is... I've never gotten this one either. It's another one of the Thunder Dragon ones. Uh, this one is uh, Thunder Dragon Hawk. Yeah, I've never gotten this one, and I have not the... The other ultra rare that they have, the other monster that's not Dragon Dark. Dragon Dark, I've actually had good luck with. <laughs> but yeah, that's awesome. We actually got an ultra rare that I've never gotten before. So uh, I'll take that. That is really cool. It's one of the better cards you can get from this, too. Also, yeah, these are first edition packs as well, not from the special edition. And a Cybernetic Horizon. All right, let's keep this uh, ultra rare train going, right? <laughs> we'll see. Best mystery pack ever. And yeah, I cut my finger, in case people were wondering. <laughs> Makes it tough to go through cards like that, but uh, yeah. And Okay, I thought that was hollow. And, okay, we have Sky Striker Ace Hayate. Yeah, I was wondering if we could keep going with the Ultra Rares. Didn't look like it, but I guess a good Super Rare. The Sky Striker, so you really can't go wrong with that. Let me move those over. I'm not going to throw away that box. I end up using those a lot of times. Oh, one pack at a time, please. Cosmo Blazer. All right, now these are older packs. I think all of these we have a chance of getting like ultimate rares and even ghost rares. So let's see. I mean, that would make my day for sure. And uh, first off, we have uh, a Heraldic Beast, a Twin Headed Eagle. I could not read that through the camera. And oh, no hollow to start out with. 
and of course, too, obviously, you're not guaranteed a hollow. Just in case people don't know that. If you're new to the game, yeah, uh, older packs, you're not guaranteed hollows. It's like Breakers of Shadow onward is where you're guaranteed a hollow. All right, and, uh, oh yeah, I remember this card, uh, Trap Fortress Ops. It's always so weird to say. It's kind of interesting. Remember always having fun trying to say that name. <laughs> All right, Extreme Victory. Um, Tour Guide. I mean, <laughs> isn't that what we're asking for? Is that the, what I should be asking for from this? That would be uh, pretty good, <laughs> I think, right? And uh, we have a Brain Hazard, and after that, oh man, no hollow. Man, a lot of trap cards in that too, by the way. <laughs> I just noticed that. Let's get a few trap cards. Storm of Ragnarok, all right. What can we get from this? Get some of the Nordic monsters, right? I mean, we got those hero decks not too long ago, so let's see. And uh, we have uh, what, uh, Beta? I don't know how you say that, honestly. I think it's supposed to be like beta, like a fish. And we have Forbidden Lance. Well, there we go. Okay, at least we got a hollow, right? Forbidden Lance, though, that was actually one of the pricier cards from this set. It's been reprinted uh, quite a few times, maybe at least five times, I think, since this came out. But yeah, when this uh, pack, you know, Storm Rock first came out and everything, Forbidden Lance was actually one of the main cards you wanted from this set. It was really good back then in the meta, and you saw it in most decks out there because it was just really useful. It was good to counter a lot of things back then. So, that's at least a really notable super rare to get. Even though, like I said, I think it's it's probably been reprinted like five times, if not more than that. It might be more. I remember it was actually kind of pricey back then. Oh, well, another one of that Watt monster. Again, I don't know how you say it. Oh, it's a Synchro. Do we have something? And... Yeah, we do! We actually did get a, a Hollow. I thought so, because Synchro monster. We have Atomic Scrap Dragon. Well, that's awesome. Uh, we do know we're getting, well, we, we know there's going to be a Scrap Link monster. We don't know when we're getting. At least time we're recording this, I'm hoping it's in Savage Strike because it would make sense. But uh, no idea. So maybe maybe it's been announced by now. But there is going to be a Scrap Link monster at some point, I think, that we're going to get that. And uh, so this will definitely come in handy. I need to see if I still have some of my older Scrap monsters too. I'd like to rebuild them. Just because, I mean, why not, right? I should probably sleeve some of these. Um, you know what? Let me sleeve a couple of these real quick. There. That one deserves a sleeve. And then also, I want to put one on a Dragon Hawk because I think that's another notable hollow that we got. So there we go. And let's go. Hidden Arsenal 4. Oh, I keep picking up two. They keep sticking together. Anyway, <laughs> double pack opening. That's a challenge. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> for a second, I thought it was actually Trishula. Uh, still kind of cool, I guess. Uh, Gen X Ally Triarm. Remember that card from back in the day? And, yeah, more Gen X. Uh, you actually had some Dragoonies in that set, too. It, it, like I said, it's a pretty good hidden arsenal. In my opinion, it's probably like the second best one. Again, seven might be the best. Uh, number Hunters now. There's actually some notable cards from this set. I actually see them here and there. Everything's holographic, too, of course. Some Bow Wow, remember that. A <laughs> Battle Warrior, yeah, one of Joey's cards. And, well, at least we got an XC monster. Uh, we have a Chaos XC, uh, Sky Palace, Babylon. Yeah, they had a lot of these Chaos monsters in this set that maybe like two of them from the set have been used. I remember a lot of these, no one ever uses them. They're cool ideas, but they're just like, mm, no. <laughs> it's like there's not really a need. Kind of sad. Maybe one of these days some of the other ones will be useful. Uh, let's see, now we have Absolute Power Force. I actually have a few of this pack. So, let's see what we can end with. Get a Majestic Red Dragon. Now that would be pretty awesome. And uh, we have uh, Bahamut. So, yeah. And, oh, I got an Ultimate Rare! Uh, or Burfamut, too. I said that wrong, didn't I? Anyway, that's what he's based off is uh, Bahamut. Anyway, though, we have uh, Battle Fader. Well, there we go. I thought I saw an ultimate. I think that's why I was the only thing I was thinking about. But that is so amazing. And uh, we did another opening. I I don't know if I should say that, actually. I don't know when that other one's getting uploaded. Um, yeah, we, we've had good luck with this set. I'll just say that. <laughs> I'm not sure. That might not have been uploaded yet. Uh, anyway, though, that is amazing. We actually, Like I said, I wanted an ultimate rare because these older packs. So, so cool to see that. I miss ultimate rare. Seriously, Konami. Bring back Ultimaries. If you listen to anything I say, 
Seriously, ultimate rares, please. I, I would love it. And not just OTS packs. You can keep doing those if you want. Main sets, though. That would be amazing. Seriously. I, I love ultimate rares, though. So this is awesome. Especially Battle Fader. That, again, that was a no, that was another bleh, a notable card for uh, back then. Kind of like with uh, Forbidden Lance. It was actually a very expensive card back then. I don't remember how much, but because it's been such a long time. But that is really good. And, okay, I, I don't know what else to, to say now. I'm happy with what we got. We got Ultimate Rare. Good day. <laughs> Let's see. Even if I can't speak right, I'm still at least getting good cards. <laughs> uh, we have Geldagra. It's actually kind of cool. I've always seen combos with this card. It's kind of funny. And we did. We actually got another Hollow. Uh, this one is uh, Alchemist of uh, Black Spells. Pretty cool looking card. I don't think it's very useful, unfortunately. But at least he looks cool. And I think, yeah, he involves spell counters. Yeah, he's one of those spell counter cards. I always wonder if they might make those useful again. I mean, we are supposed to get a Magician Structure deck. I think that's the next thing supposed to come out for Japan. No idea when we'll get that in English. But uh, maybe they'll make those come in handy. I, I don't know. I always think spell counter cards are kind of cool, just because from back in the day. But that is, uh, that's at least an awesome card to get. I mean, I'll take that. It's cool looking. I think it's been reprinted too. And last pack. Okay, what are we ending with? Can we with a hollow? I wish I would have, you know, opened up one of those other packs last too, because they actually had hollows. So I'm wondering now, what can we get? Let's see. I don't know. Can we go three for three from Absolute Power Force? Let's see. Harder the cards. You guys know. If you hit that like button, you give me extra power too. Just saying. It's it's proven. I'm not lying. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Oh, that's actually pretty good, though. Uh, Reptilian, uh, Vasky. That was another really powerful card back in the day. That was good against, um, uh, Draco Sack. That's what it was. Uh, the Mega Phantom Beast. So, that's cool. But what else? And, ah, oh, unfortunately, we did not end with a Hollow. But, like I said, that rare was actually really powerful back in the day. I remember making a video actually talking about it, too. So, that is... You know, that's at least notable. I'll take it. But, uh, yeah, there we go. That's the opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Definitely glad I got one of these. I mean, I had just a lot of good luck actually getting a, you know, Dragon Hawk finally. Out of all the openings I've done, I've had terrible luck getting Thunder Dragon stuff unless it's their Polymerization or Dragon Dark. Other than that, terrible luck. So, it's cool to actually see that card. I have not gotten one of those. Then, of course, Battle Fader, Ultimate Rare game over. You get an ultimate rare, like I said, that makes my day, that makes my week. I still love ultimate rares. I need to do an update on my collection. If you want to see another opening, let me know, and of course, link will be in the description. These are, like I said, $39.99, and include all kinds of different packs, too. I assume you can get some different things than what I got, but I hope you guys have some amazing luck with it, too, and if you do order one, let me know what you got. As always, though, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, ring that bell so you don't miss out, and of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.